Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here. Thanks for watching my videos. Welcome to my new subscribers. And yeah, it's you newbies out there that I want to talk to, <laughs> uh, mostly. Um, new to Rite Aid, new to couponing, that kind of thing. But um, anybody can feel free to watch this video. Maybe you learned something. Um, yeah, I just rolled over 7,000 official subscribers a week ago. Um, and since then, I've gotten 35... Um, Maybe actually 37 today, 37 new subscribers. Um, so a lot of new, new people out there watching. So I got a question the other day from somebody who said they're, you know, new to Rite Aid. They don't have gold or silver discount and they don't have any upper awards and they don't know where to start. My advice that I wrote back in the comment was, um, start with the money makers. And so, Start and the other thing is to start with buying things that you actually use, okay? Because in the beginning, you have to put some cash out when you start trying to play the drugstore game. And you can really apply this to Walgreens or CVS, either any of them, really. Um, so initially, you're going to have to pay some money out of pocket, obviously, because you don't have any upper awards. But what you want to do is look for the best possible deals so that the amount of money that you do put out of pocket, that you're actually getting paid back for that money. And um, so that's what I want to talk about in here. But before I get into that, um, I want to say that I do have a big variety of uh, general couponing videos over on my YouTube homepage linked in playlists so they're easy for you guys to find. Um, I often reference people to go watch those um, when they ask me questions. Um, I, I made them to always be there and help people. So if you click on my name and then I'll take you to my homepage and then you can see the different playlists on there. Some of them are just general couponing tips and other ones are specific like for Rite Aid or Walgreens. Um, now for Rite Aid, always on either Friday or Saturday before the ad starts on Sunday, I make a preview video and I go through the ad and I show coupons and, um, you know, in the deals and the deals I'm talking about in here are what I see as the best possible deals <laughs> or the best deals. And there's always potential for other deals that I miss because, I don't know everything and um, new coupons show up all the time and that kind of thing. Um, other people see things that I don't see. I think it's a good idea to watch other people's videos um, and, and read some blogs and stuff like that. And um, so that you have a big range of places that you're getting information from. Um, yeah. So, um, so watch for my preview videos either on Friday or Saturday. It just depends on what's going on in my life when I have some time to do it. But I always have it up before Sunday. And, um, you know, I am i don't say these things to suggest that you should buy them. And this gets into the whole idea of me writing up a scenario and saying, here's what you should go buy. Because I don't like to do that. Um, everybody has different needs in their life. Um... And I have a lot of people <laughs> um, who, who watch my videos and, you know, some people will buy anything. You know, my whole thing is the way I have been couponing, but I have, it hasn't been this way since the beginning. I'll buy anything that is free or a money making deal. And because, um, especially money making deals. <laughs> Because I have a lot of people that I let have the stuff, um, or people ask me for things all the time, and uh, sometimes, you know, <laughs> I get requests for stuff, and I'm just like, um, well, no, that never comes around on deal, or yeah, that comes around on deal, and I can pick some up for you, and that kind of thing. So, it depends on what you're doing with it. And so some people, they're only shopping for their family and for things that they can use. They don't have any desire to um, give it to their family members or have a yard sale or um, whatever it is that people do with the stuff. 
So um, that's why I don't write scenarios up and everything. That's why I just go through the ad and show you potential deals and then you can make the decision on your own, okay? So let's assume that you just have, um, you just got your card. You don't even know what gold and silver discount means, <laughs> and uh, but you hear me talk about it. Um, really, if you go through and you buy stuff consistently every week, and I know this for a fact because I've had so many people here on YouTube tell me this, it'll take you three to four months to get to gold status where you have the 20% discount. And that means spending a thousand dollars. And that seems like a lot, but it, it can happen if you do it. And I've had some people who tell me they've done it in two months. So, well, that's, that's some real dedication. But, you know, and even for me and um, using multiple cards, I don't do every deal on every card that I use. Um, you know, I, I have gotten the cards to gold status again this year um, easily inside of three months. It, it, it's, not, it's not that difficult to do. So if you just hang in there and um, you stick with it, watch watch the preview videos that I do and go to Rite Aid and shop every week. It's it's um, it'll get easier with time also. <laughs> OK, so uh, if you don't have any upper rewards right now and you're wondering where to start and um, the first thing you should do, you know, look through this ad I Heart Rite Aid has it posted. They've got the next two weeks posted as well. Look through the ad and um, see if there's anything that you really could use. Okay. Um, that's a really good place to start. You know, um, if Tresemme is your favorite shampoo, then yeah, that's a good place to start because it's something that you actually use. Okay, so that's one thing that you should ask yourself. And my other advice was to um, buy the money making deals. Okay, so let's look at over here on this page. And really, you know, this is the ad that's coming up, so that's why I'm talking about this. But um, whenever you're watching this video, um, get the current ad and and look through it and and make the same kind of decision. See what kind of coupons you have. But like here you know, is a deal that is a money-making deal if you have a coupon. Um, the Beano or the Dramamine is going to be $6 on sale and get and they're going to give you $6 back. So, you know, you can make initial investment of $6 and get $6 in upper rewards back and there you go. You can start off. And, you know, and that's up to you if you feel like you have a need for the product, if you have $6 to invest in it. Now, there just happens to be printable coupons so, like, if you use this dollar coupon on the Beano, you'd pay $5 and you'd get $6 back. That's a money-making deal. And um, so that's some place that you could start, okay? That one's really simple. And this other one I recommend you doing. <laughs> okay, if you need to have video value coupons printed. Um, you need to register your card on Rite Aid's website. And this is what a video value coupon looks like once you print it out that one happens to be on Johnson Johnson but what I want to talk about is the clear shampoo I've already used my coupons so I'm just gonna pretend like this is one <laughs> um it's a three dollar video value coupon this month and it's a Rite Aid coupon and you can stack that Rite Aid coupon with a manufacturer coupon okay there happens to be this two dollar fifty cent coupon that came in the see the red plum on June the 22nd so those two coupons combined add up to $5.50. And it's going to be on sale for $4.99. That's just so easy. You're going to get $0.51 cents in overage by using those two coupons. And then you're going to get $2 in upper rewards back. Okay? So in order to get the overage, in order for this to happen, you have to have something else in the transaction that costs at least $0.51. Cents. Because the computer won't give you 51 cents in cash back, okay? It doesn't work like that at Rite Aid. So um, that is that is the best place to start this particular week. And those are the kind of deals that you always want to do. I don't care if you don't have a use for the clear shampoo. If you have these two coupons, you should do that deal right there, okay? Plain and simple. That's That's how you make 
the drugstores work for you, okay? And and you can increase the amount of up rewards you have by always buying things like this, okay? Um, the deal is limit four. It's a monthly deal. Um, you can only print one video value coupon per Rite Aid card. The computer will let you print more than one, but they will have the same exact barcode on them. And then the computer will not accept them when you try to check out. It'll only take the barcode one time. So only print one per account, okay? Um, and I talk about that in one of my regular general uh, videos on my Rite Aid playlist, okay? So another deal that I think is, is really simple, everybody uses toothpaste and toothbrushes. So this is a good one to invest in as well right here. You know, the Beano and the Dramamine, that's kind of an iffy one. But see, this is the kind of deal that you should look for when you're getting started out. It's going to be on sale for $3.75. There's going to be a $0.75 cent coupon in the Red Plum on Sunday. And then you get $3 back, which in the end would make it free. Okay? You'd pay $3 out of pocket, you get $3 back. You can do it two times. Um, we've already got a $0.75 cent coupon for the toothbrush that's in the Procter & Gamble that came the previous week. So, you know, those, those are the kind of things you need to look at. And, um, this one's also free if you've got the dollar coupon. And we also have a manufacturer coupon for the, um, this is a manufacturer coupon, like one that came in an insert, the, um, red plum on, um, June the 15th. And also the July 13th was going to give this. And I printed this one off of coupons.com. So um, that would, you'd pay $4 and get $4 back, another free deal. And those are ones that having a discount doesn't make any difference on, because I know that can be <laughs> a little bit crazy for people when they do watch my preview videos, and I'm always saying, well, if you have a 20% discount or you have a gold discount, you know, um, what you need to do is go through and, and find the deals that are going to work for you that you're willing to put some money out. So, um, and then let's say, let's say you want to do the Tresemme and you only have one of the $2 video value coupons. But if Tresemme is something you use, you know, you might want to go ahead and do this and then you'll get $3 back when you buy two, but then you'll have some up rewards and a product that you were going to buy, um, anyway. Um, <laughs> so that's the kind of thing that, that when you look through the ads and, look at the upper award deals that are available. Like maybe you always take Centrum or maybe your mom always takes Centrum. Well, then maybe it's a good time to buy some Centrum vitamins um, because you're getting upper awards back. Um, most of the deals that I buy at Rite Aid have some kind of upper awards that they're giving me something back. I use my upper awards from the previous day to pay for the next day. And... Um, you know, always look for things that, like, like this deal on, um, the NYC, there's a, um, a tear pad coupon at Rite Aid, um, for a dollar off and, and it's on 40% discount. So, you know, everybody gets it at 40% off. There's the, there's the coupon. So, um, I think you need to be need to if you have five of these if you can find this on the cardboard display there at Rite Aid, then that would be a good deal um, to do as well. So it's just one of those things you need to um, figure out how much you're willing to pay for something right now, and which deals you want. Also, you know if you have the opportunity to go and shop more than one day a week at Rite Aid, the best thing would do, you know, like pick up the clear one bottle of clear shampoo. And a toothbrush or a toothpaste, pay for that out of pocket. Then you would have a $3 and a $2 up reward. Now you've got $5. You can go back to the store the next day and take your $5 and, um, say, buy this, this Crest or buy the Beano. Then you could, yeah, because the Beano would then cost you $5. Then you would have $6 the next day. And that's how, that's how you can do it and you can start building your, your upper rewards. And, um, yeah, I don't know. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Maybe you got something out of that. Um, <laughs> now that I've made it really long, but, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs>